Hey guys, Troy here. This is Yes I Will by Vertical Church in the key of F, which is actually a fourth up from the original to sing it in a female key. And this was a request from a Guitar For His Glory member named Scott who said that he had a wedding coming up and they were gonna play this song in the key of F and he needed some help with it. So it just so happens that when we play this song at church in a female key, we play it in F. And I've uh, just not had the chance to make a video and upload it. So this gave me a good excuse to help a brother out and also to upload another tutorial of an awesome song that has biblical lyrics. So uh, it was a pretty good excuse, I guess. Um, if you want the tablature that goes across the screen, the pedal board shot, and the explanation of tones and stuff, that's over at guitarforhisglory.com, so you can check that out. Um, I am running pedal board straight into Axe Effects, Veritas Portlander with Lambertones Cremas, really the only pickups that exist to me uh, anymore for the last couple of years have been these. I love them. Uh, they just help me do everything that I want to do. And um, so to give you an example, I actually played a playthrough of it um, just a minute ago. Well, three and a half minutes ago, I guess, with uh, Gretsch uh, Star Player. No, what is it? Gretsch Players Edition Duo Jet with Dynasonic pickups. And it seriously sounds good, but it just confirms for me that I do not like Gretsch guitars. I can't play them. The short scale, I always push them out of tune. I just don't get along with them. I don't know what it is. I love the way they sound. I just cannot stand the way they feel and the way they play. I think I might need to put 11s on that one, though. It might help. Anyways, I'm just used to this guitar. I played it for five years. I'm um, just used to it. It's my, it's my thing. It helps me do uh, what I want to do, I guess. So, um, But this song, Yes, I Will, the original video that I uploaded for it, I talked about how the church should be singing songs like this, not concentrating on whether or not songs have good hooks, good melodies, good guitar parts, if they're fun, um, if they attract the listener, that sort of thing. That's all garbage. We should be playing songs that have biblical lyrics. And I don't play songs unless they have biblical lyrics, lyrics that are theologically sound. Um, as I've gotten older and as I've been doing this longer, I am more serious and more serious about making sure that I stand firm to play songs that are theologically sound and speak true things about God. And I always say that the words that you are putting on the lips of God's people when they sing on Lord's Day in his house are so important. We cannot compromise on that. And this song, I think, is one of those ones where, as a guitar player, so that's the first reason why I like it, theologically sound words, and it just talks about lifting the Lord's name high. I'm going to sing his praises regardless of what's going on. I choose to glorify his name, the name that is above every name. So that's the first reason. The second reason why I love it so much is because it's easy to play. When a song really gets cooking, you're just playing chords, basically. There's not a lot going on. So you can just sing. For once, we don't have to worry about keeping up with the guitar parts all the time. And I love playing guitar. I love the parts. And it's fun to craft them and to get them right and stuff like that. But sometimes it's great just to slow down the parts, I mean, and just play chords, play things that are easy so I can sing with God's people and I can sing, lift his name high instead of having to worry about all this stuff. So that's the other reason why I like it so much. Anyways, I hope this is helpful to you guys. I hope you all are well. It's been a little while since I've um, uploaded a video. So I hope you all are well and going through the pandemic and stuff. I hope you guys are keeping your eyes on Jesus. Um, remembering his sovereignty over all that happens, that he is preeminent and that he upholds the universe by the word of his power. There's nothing that is affecting a believer that has not first passed through the sovereign hand of God. That's such a comfort. We should not be living with the spirit of fear. We should not be fearing death. We should concentrate on spreading the gospel, preaching the gospel, sharing the love of Jesus with other people, serving brothers and sisters, caring for and loving brothers and sisters, going to church, um, gathering as the body of Christ to sit under his word, to be sanctified by his word, to sing his praises, to address one another, right? And songs and hymns and spiritual songs and man, spur each other on to good works. Those are things that we should be doing right now. So I hope you're doing those. And uh, if you need some encouragement from me personally, Feel free to reach out. I'd love to pray for you. I'd uh, love to talk to you. But otherwise, hope all is well. Keep your eyes on Christ, guys. Love you. Bye.